Hey everybody, welcome to the Plumbers of Data Science podcast. I'm your host Andreas Kretz and today we are talking about our job placement guarantees a scam. This is something that I get asked sometimes about my academy and so I thought I'm going to put this in here because literally yesterday somebody asked me this. Uh, before we start, you can listen to this on any podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify and so on. Just search Plumbers of Data Science podcast. And now we also have a YouTube channel specifically for the podcast that you can watch and where you can also comment. So check out the YouTube channel and leave the comments for this on YouTube. I'm very excited to hear what you think and to discuss with you there. All right. So our job placement guarantee is a scam. What is actually a job placement guarantee? So I'm running a data engineering academy, as you might know, learndataengineering.com, over 30 courses. I have taught over 2000 students so far. And here and there, people ask me, Andreas, do you give a guarantee? And so what is a guarantee? A guarantee would be that, okay, you go through our curriculum and then we help you find a job and we guarantee that you're going to find a job as a data engineer. Right. That would be a guarantee or otherwise you get your money back. Right. Now, I don't know how I've been thinking about this. I don't know how to do this. And I'm questioning even if somebody or who can give such a guarantee. Right? Is it boot camps? Is it some kind of a special training for experts? When is somebody ready to like graduate and then ready to cash in on that guarantee. Like, I don't know, sometimes I've seen these guarantees in worded like, we guarantee that you get a job within the data industry or a data job within six months, or you get your money back. Like, is that really a guarantee? I think that's not really a guarantee. And would I do this? Would I give a guarantee like that? I think that it's, it's unethical to do it like this. I don't know. Like, I don't like this. So why is this such a problem? When I look at people and I look at my students, it's always very difficult because people have different skills, are in different situations, right? People live in different countries. People want to get into different industries or they work at different industries. Um, they have a very diverse education before that. Some people start as a data analyst, some people start as a data scientist, some as a, just a, a software developer. A very, very different starting points. And also within data engineering, you can um, specify in very different areas. You could specify in DevOps, you could specify in more towards the analyst side where you say, okay, I'm going to work on preparing the data for somebody. You could um, work more towards data integration. You could do CICD. You could work on AWS, be an AWS data engineer, a Azure data engineer, and so on. So it's very, very um, diverse the whole field. Also from a perspective of the learner, especially for beginners, this is very difficult and it's very difficult to get a job guarantee. And to understand that you need to understand how the recruiter business works. And this is why you most likely if you're a beginner get ghosted by recruiters or nothing ever comes out of it. So how does the recruiting business work? You have a recruiter and they interview you, they look at your CV, they trying to place you at a client. And how is the recruiter paid? The recruiter is paid on the basically on the seniority and on the um, annual salary of someone. Plus, they often get a signing bonus and so on. But in essence, this is the seniority, somebody who is very experienced will have a high annual salary will be difficult to place or difficult to get for companies. And that's why they are paying a lot to have someone. On the other side, now, if especially if you look at beginners, it's very difficult to place a beginner, right? Because the companies are looking for specialists, they're looking for people they don't get. And 
when you go online and you look at job descriptions, what do you see? You see a data engineer job uh, on LinkedIn, how many people applied? 200 people applied. So this is, this doesn't work, right? Because the recruiter has someone that the company doesn't want to hire. And also somebody with uh, who's a beginner is not going to have high salary in the beginning. And that's why the commission for the recruiter is going to be low. So they are not really incentivized to try to place you somewhere because nobody wants you. And I tried this a few years back. I think two years back, I wanted to do this for the academy because I thought that is a really good idea. I'm going to contact recruiters. I'm going to talk to recruiters and then I'm going to forward you guys to recruiters so that um, you get placed. Now, and that was exactly the problem. They were always very difficult because they said, well, if there are a lot of beginners, we don't want beginners. We, we can't place beginners. We want only experienced people. And so that just does not really work. And from my experience, it didn't really work. And I actually, I, I kicked this, I, I removed this from my services. And I, I, I did this completely for free, but this didn't work because of these reasons. On the other side, um, sometimes you get this job guarantee, but how does this work? Companies that do the education are in contact with these time-based um, labor companies. I don't know how this is called in English. Basically, where you have a time-based contract, they send you to companies, you do the work, and then you um, go to another client, go to another client. Basically, slaving away for a bit of money just to try to gain some experience, but you're never really in a company. You're always just... Um, helping out. So I don't know, do you really want that? I don't think so. That, that shouldn't be the goal for anyone. So what can you do in this case? Forget job guarantees. Take this into your own hand. There's no one coming to your help. You need to do the work. Like with my academy, you need to go to the academy. You need to figure out, okay, what job do I want to get? Which courses do I take? Then you take these courses, you do the hands-on parts, you document your stuff, and then you create a good CV and then apply to jobs. Now, you don't need my academy for this. You can also do these all these projects and so on. You can learn on your own. It might take a bit longer, but the important part is you need to solve real-world problems with as real world they like data that it can get. So go out there, try to get data sets that are real world data sets or re close to real world data sets and then solve problems with this. And there are a ton of things that you can do. All right. So to finish this up, are um, job guarantees a scam? For beginners, I would say yes. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to have comments on this. Post your comments in the YouTube, uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, for me, these are absolutely a scam. These are hoping that people forget about it. These are hoping that people buy the boot camp and then later forget about the, the job guarantee or then just nothing happens. Um, for experts, though, if you are an expert and you do some education in a very close niche um, where you really specialize down, it might work because then you are uh, very attractive to companies. Companies want to hire these people who are very specific, who solve very specific problems, who are um, very experienced that these are people hard to come by and also these are people recruiters love because they can place them they can make a lot of money and be happy so yeah let me know in the comments it would also be interesting uh, if you have done this if you took something with the job guarantee and you got a job or the other way around you didn't get a job so yeah check out the youtube channel and comment there on the YouTube channel, on the video. And then we see each other next week.